How the hell are you? Welcome to the Smoke Report. I'm your host, Jay Todd. What a great show I have for you this week. You know, it's uh, full of, uh, of uh, political crap that's probably going to piss you off, but hey, that's why you tune in, right? Let's start up north in the city of Boston, where Sunday, September 30th, a smoking ban is going to go into effect. A ban that will uh, prevent people from lighting up if they live in public housing. Mayor Thomas Menino said, The city of Boston is proud to be at the forefront of having smoke-free living in our public housing. Mm -hmm. You're proud, huh? Really, Mayor Menino? You're proud of this ban? You're the mayor of the city that is the birthplace of the American Revolution. And you're proud of this ban. The, the streets of your city is where Paul Revere rode warning that the British were coming, an enemy bent on taking away our personal freedoms. So what a perfect place to legislate personal conduct, which is otherwise legal in the privacy of people's homes. What's next? You're gonna make them uh, quarter soldiers? And, and keeping up with politics, in Nebraska, there is a uh, tax on cigarettes currently proposed, and one of the state senators there, Bob Christ, has this bizarre idea. Now, I, I want you to stay with me because it's, it's out there, okay? Just focus. Mr. Christ wants to put this proposed tax to a vote. Yeah, <clears throat> weird, but he wants to let the people decide on this tax. What sort of Kool-Aid is this guy drinking? Putting something to a vote in this country, as if we live in a democrat. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh yeah, it's still weird though. You wanna know why it's weird? Because I don't know what's more strange, that a politician remembered his country is supposed to be a democracy of the people, by the people, for the people, or if it's just weird because it made the news that a politician thinks this way. We'll be right back. exciting invention of the 21st century, the SafeSig electronic cigarette. The SafeSig implements an innovative flow sensor to instantly turn itself on and off, eliminating the need for any power buttons. Since it's not real smoke, the vapor is virtually odorless, and it won't smell up your hair or stain your teeth. For more information or to order now, please visit our website, www.thesafesig.com, or call our toll-free number, one 866 9972332 you must be 18 to order welcome back now to close the show out a couple of really funny stories not funny in a ha ha sort of way more funny in like, uh, are you serious sort of way. First, there's this guy. A man in South Carolina was robbed at gunpoint at 2 a.m. while he was out trying to enjoy his cigarette. Yeah. Two men rolled up in a car, pulled out a pistol, and said, give me your wallet, boy. So the man, of course, gave him his wallet. My question is this. Was this poor guy forced to go outside to smoke his cigarette because of some law or ban? Was he forced to go out into the dangerous night? And if so, does he have a lawsuit against the city or county for failing to provide a safe place for him to have his cigarette? Mm-hmm. I'm not litigious, people. 
I just think turnabout is fair play. And then there's this, a woman in Alaska. Now, now let me preface this by saying she's fine now, but, but apparently she was up in Alaska. I don't know what, what town. It, it's a big state. Uh, she's up there and she wants to throw her cigarette butt over the side of a cliff into the ocean. I, it just gets more bizarre, right? I don't know why she has to throw her cigarette butt off a cliff into the ocean, but, but apparently she does. Let's just stick with the story. So she's, she's going to throw her cigarette off the side of this cliff, and, and she's texting while she's doing it. Now, don't get ahead of me here. <laughs> I'm sure you can see where this is going, right? So she's got her cigarette butt, and she's got her, uh, her phone, and she's texting, and she's walking toward the side of this cliff, and the text read something like, hey, I'm just going to throw away this cigarette butt, and I'll see you in about 10 minutes. Yeah, she actually, on the way down, spelled out, meh. Yeah, she held down the I key. She's fine. They rescued her just in the nick of time as the tide was rolling in. But remember, smoking did not cause this accident. Texting did. And yes, I looked into it. Texting while driving is illegal in the city of Boston. Even if you are texting, the British are coming. All right. I think we should outlaw texting personally. I mean, at least in public places, right? Doesn't it annoy you when people keep getting texts and they're all ha 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 and they're typing and the sound of it and it it's like secondhand text. It comes in, it annoys me. I have to be in the same room with it. Outlaw it. Done. Yeah. Be a law against it.